Oh, you're back. How's it looking over in Ferdiad? The reports are true. There's some odd-looking weaponry mounted throughout the city. As far as I can tell, though, the townspeople themselves remain unharmed. I'm pleased to say Lord Rodrik and Sir Gustav have been confirmed safe as well. That's great! Where are they now? After working to free Duke Ivan, they escaped the castle alongside some of the captured knights. Armed with what scant weaponry they could find, they brought the fight down to the city itself. My old man never ceases to amaze. Shouldn't even be a surprise at this point. I should add, the Western Lord's armies aren't the only forces occupying the capital. There is another. One we can't identify at present. I doubt even the great Lord Rodrik and Sir Gustav will be able to hold out much longer. Sounds like they're in a bad spot. We should focus on keeping them safe, right? Don't be too hasty. Why do you think the two of them are causing this uproar in the first place? To create a diversion, I know. But I don't think that means we should just abandon them either. I agree, Felix. I won't leave my father to die. Besides, I don't think His Majesty would want us saving him if it meant sacrificing two of his most loyal retainers. <sighs> Fine. We'll help them if we can. That better? All that said, we won't be able to save the King while the townspeople are still in danger. Sounds pretty straightforward then. We move on the castle and mop up in town as we go. Annie and I know these streets better than the back of our hands. We can guide you. Didu must be somewhere in the castle too. We have to rescue him before it's too late. Our plan settled then. Everyone, move out!
Come on, it's time to rescue our fool king. And whoever else we find along the way. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Not a problem. Let's work together. I'll do my best. I'll back them up. Hear you loud and clear. Leave the backup to me. Shall we? I'll provide assistance. Begin the operation. Allow me to... The streets are flooded with enemy soldiers. But one wrong step and we'll end up hurting the civilians instead. Be careful, everyone. We'll start by carving a path to the castle town. On me! Yeah, right! I'm coming! them here and push on into town. Attacking it head on will do us any good. There must be controls we could use to shut it down. I could swear I've seen such a thing somewhere around here. <coughs> I got this! <coughs> do we need worry We must rescue His Majesty at once. But we are worried. You're our friend too, just like Dimitri. <coughs> Lord Rodriguez is surely still out here, hiding in the streets. Who do you think you face? Hear you loud and clear. I'll do my best. Let's move. I'll do what I can. It's a net time. Rodriguez is struggling. We have to help. Might as well deal with the other one, too. I wonder if those are the controls. Give me a hand! To victory! Not gonna hold back! This is it! You 
You should have hurried straight to His Majesty, Felix. Yet here you are. Thank you. You were getting overwhelmed. We were about to just watch you die. Don't lose. If I was wondering when your merry little band might show up, lucky for you, I've got a nice mass grave ready and waiting. I'll do what I can. It's worth it. His Majesty is in the castle. We must press on. Worth a shot. Let me at him. Begin the operation. Our order. Hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work and I'll do my best. I'll back. Please be safe, Your Majesty. I'll give it a thousand percent. I'll back you up. You called. If I could only hold her a little longer. Mother, stay strong. We're coming. It's the net time. I'm glad you're safe. Now come on, let's kick some enemy behind. You and me. I'm doing this, but there is no time to drop it. We must make to rescue the king at once. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll make it in time. Not much further. Stand down. belongs in His Majesty's hands. We must reclaim it. Guard that land with your lives! Don't let them have it! Just a sick scene, that thing with the enemy. We'll rest it out of their cold, lifeless fingers. of the kingdom, and it's all the Thor has left of his father. Let's bring it back where it belongs. I'll give it a thousand percent. I'll back you up. 
Indeed, to his majesty. Dimitri, you okay? My friends, why have you come? As if we would just leave you here to die. Time to get you out. I'm afraid that I must stay. You saw what's happening out there. Should I try to leave, my people's lives are forfeit. <laughs> so they bind the boar not with chains, but with his utterly unreasonable sense of duty. They're gonna kill you in here, Dimitri! So be it then. If my death will keep my people safe, I won't allow it. <sighs> Dudu. Take it, Your Majesty. I. Whether it's duty towards the living, or the guilt for all those we have lost, such burdens are not yours to bear by yourself. We are here to fight by your side, Your Majesty, and so we shall, now and always. Find them! This way! Typical boar. Can't help himself. <laughs> Dude, try to keep up. Back at you. On me. Awaited this moment. Any who stand in our way will taste the pointed end of my lance. Sneaking out of our room, are we? You know what this means. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Begin the operation. Our orders are hear you loud and clear. I'll make short work of this. We'll give it a thousand percent. Leave everything. We cannot allow even a single civilian casualty. Please, lend me your blade. Like I do anything else. All these ranged attacks are really cramping my style. We should find the controls and put an end to them once and for all. Let us take this stronghold. That drawbridge would serve to be our quickest route forward. Controls are huh. No surprise there. I'd be more shocked if they'd left them intact. Engineers, repair the controls and lower the drawbridge. Then do what you must to keep it safe. Count on I see you can prepare. We will proceed as planned. We move. We will proceed as planned. We No! Please spare me! What a bitch, Hall. None of this would be happening if your dear king had just been a good little boy and done as he was told. I'll cover you! Who do you think I am? I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. Brilliant. It's a net! 
Proceed as planned. We must strive to perform to the best of our ability. Stand down. Now is our chance. Attack! Incredible, Your Majesty. 
I must strive to be more like you on the battlefield. Such frail bodies. How do you stand? <laughs> afford to kill me if you do the truth about the tragedy of dusker will evaporate into the shadows forever i have no intention of slaying you not yet but if you have something to say i suggest you spit it out before i change my mind now cornelia earlier you said my father was betrayed murdered by lords from within fargus but it was you who fueled the flame of that betrayal. You saw my uncle and Lord Arendelle join hands, and you brought the Western Lords and the Imperial Nobles together. All of it was you. <laughs> what a fascinating theory. There are two things I need to know. First, your motivation. Who are you working for, and why? I know what spurred my uncle and the Western Lords to act. While the Empire has long smoldered, waiting for even the slightest spark to reignite their fury. There are a thousand reasons why one might want to assassinate a king. But what's yours for this attempt on my life? And what of my father? Why murder him in a manner as roundabout as a staged raid? All you had to do was fail to end the plague 20 years ago, and the entire royal family would have been consumed by it. You have a point, but I couldn't say. In a sense, that was another lifetime completely. One more question, then. My stepmother's body was never recovered from the site of the tragedy. What happened to her? Tell me, Cornelia. You'll find the answers you seek in the Imperial Capital, though you'll have to extract them from your dearest stepsister. She must surely know something, wouldn't you think? After all, she is your stepmother's actual flesh and blood. In Enbar. Now, I've really enjoyed our little chat here, but I have so many places to be. <sighs> Why, you... Don't be so sad. You'll be seeing me again before you even know it. 